I finally got the wide leg jeans that I've been wanting. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. If you are looking for the easiest way to turn your skinny or straight leg jeans into wide leg jeans, then this is the video for you. And this video is sponsored by Flexi Spot. For all my sewists and upcyclers, or even if you're about to redecorate your office, oh, you're going to love this product. But let's get right to the tutorial. All right, so here's my skinny jeans. They fit amazing, but I wanted wide legs. And there are a few prerequisites to keep this project super easy. Your jeans do need to be long enough and they should fit in the hips and the waist. All right, so we're gonna keep this really simple. Here are my jeans. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take the seam apart on the sides from the bottom all the way up to the hip. My hip where I want it to stop is right across from the crotch, so that's how far we're gonna go. I really want these to stay fitting so nice and snug at the hip, so I'm gonna try to just add a triangle piece um, on the sides. Now, Typically I would cut these, however, and you guys know how much I hate seam ripping, but I'm gonna seam rip these today. It just takes so long and standing up is very uncomfortable. Oh, wait a minute. I have another solution. Hold on. actually is not the worst thing to seam rip. You can do it pretty easily by just sticking the little ball edge down into the seam and just taking it all the way up. But I gotta be careful because I'm not going all the way up. All right, and then you would just have to deal with your serge edge and you could do that the same way. The hardest part will be the hem and that'll just take a little bit of time and yeah, so we're gonna go do this and we're gonna come right back. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more easy up cycles and press that bell to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, so I have a denim skirt. It's like a wrap skirt, like the front wraps completely around the other side to the back. So I am just going to go ahead and take off the inside panel because yeah, I think that's a little bit excessive for my, for my liking. So that gives me an extra panel on this skirt. So I'm gonna take um, some pieces. This is what it looks like. My pants are open and we need to add about, probably about seven inches on the bottom and then it will taper off to a triangle up at the top. All right, I think I just wanna cut a straight line and then, yeah, since the top and the bottom is hem the same, I may use that hem, I may take it apart and do the same jean hem, we'll see. But cut them so that they, I utilize so that I don't have to cut as much. And then, let's see, seven inches, but I want um, to make sure that we have seam allowance, so I'm gonna go seven and a half. Half, let's do seven and a half down here, or half of seven and a half, which would be three and three quarters. All right, so that's our first triangle, and then we can cut out our second triangle like this. All right, so easy peasy. We are going to just add them to the jeans. Let's turn our jeans inside out. And if you are looking for a tutorial on how to do bell bottoms or how to add more length, if yours are not long enough, I will put a link to another tutorial where I do that right here. And I will also put it in the description box. All right, so on each side where you have your opening to your jeans, you're just gonna lay the triangle out. And I would definitely start from the bottom. Let's get some clips. All right, so 
that's one side and then we clip it to the other side as well all right so then you're going to take it over to your sewing machine and sew each side you definitely want to go from the hem up on both sides so start from the hem go up start from the hem go up that's just going to make sure everything stays even if you're trying not to have to redo the hem if you and like i said we're trying to keep this as simple as possible if you do want to take out the hem and then redo it all together then you know that will give it a more professional you know look but like i said we're doing this the easiest way possible So at the very end, I get that opening. So I'm gonna go in, turn it inside out, and sew the original seam back down so it goes back together. And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And let's finally get into this, the future of cutting tables. This is the FlexiSpot Cano Pro Bamboo Standing Desk EC8 and clamp power strip with USB. And once again, I reorganized my sewing room just to be able to use this baby and I'm so happy about it. If you guys want a new sewing tour, you can let me know in the comments. But look at this standing desk with this beautiful bamboo surface. Bamboo is a renewable material, super hard, anti-dust mite, antibacterial, and it cleans really well. And it comes in a lot of different sizes. So if you need something that's for your small space, definitely you can get that. I chose to get the biggest one possible because I wanted the ultimate cutting table, work table, sewing table, everything that I needed to be, it is. I have started working, like actually using it as a desk instead of my desk over here, just because I can see out the window and just enjoy myself, drink whatever I'm drinking at the moment and just do my work and oh, it's just so peaceful. It was easy to set up and the legs are are very sturdy so I don't have to worry about it shaking around but it's not so heavy that I couldn't do it myself I was able to put it together myself with just a little bit of help from my son when I lifted it up to make sure I didn't drop it on my toe y'all know I am accident prone but it was super easy and best of all is the fact that it can save your height so your lower height you press one button your standing height you press another button up to four different settings you can save as well as it goes like super super low so you don't have to worry about for my petite uh ladies and gents out there as well as super super high for however tall you may be because not everyone's standing height is the same and the clamp power strip just takes it over the top i can put it wherever i want to on the table and just plug in charge directly directly from the table. Honestly, if you could only have one piece of furniture in your sewing room slash office or sewing room or office, this would be it because definitely you could use this for your sewing table. You could use this for your cutting table. You could use this for your office and work table, whatever you need it to be. So, and like you see, I hear you don't necessarily have to have it on the wall. I have it floating. I love it. If I need to move it to the side, I can, but uh, I am just enjoying it thoroughly. So if you are interested, I do have a special link for you right below. Check that out. And let me know, do you see this as the future of cutting tables? Like I told my mom and she was just floor, floor, floor. So yes, let me know what you think. So let's get into the styling of these wide leg jeans. All right, these are the wide leg jeans of my dreams. Seriously, they're long enough, they fit in the hips, they got that, you know, that suction that sucks you in, they're high waist, which is, yes, yes, what I need in my life. I bought some from H&M, and let me tell you, they were that thin, like old skinny jean material, and so it doesn't suck you in the way you 
the way I need to be sucked in. So I am super excited about these. Let me know if you like how I styled them. And you guys know, as always, I have other videos for you to watch right here. Next Stop Upcycler is coming. I hope you guys have seen the advertisements, the announcements. November 6th is coming. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!